This video will go into a little deeper detail on the toy Python molecular mechanics energy program that I've written and been using for demonstrations within this chapter. Okay, so as always, this is within my uh, computational chemistry GitHub repository, github.com slash tmpchem. And what we're going to be looking at is down in the scripts molecular mechanics directory, I have this mm.py function, kind of a top level driver function that's going to make use of all these different modules that I have in uh, this uh, mmlib directory, molecular mechanics library. And for this particular file, so it says mm.py takes in a set of molecular XYZ coordinates and charges, determines bonded topology and parameters, calculates amber 94 molecular mechanics energy components, and prints the resulting values. Okay, so we have getting the input file so if we run this again without any kind of arguments, we get this input message. I'm going to run this uh, mm.py and give it an input file, which is either some uh, xyzq or prm file, as I have mentioned uh, throughout this chapter in those demos for molecular mechanics. So we're going to get uh, from this mmlib.fileio module, we're going to get the input file name from there. We're going to use that to declare a molecule object from this uh, mmlib.molecule module, this molecule class within there. Then we're going to uh, call the function getEnergy on there uh, with this uh, parameter no kinetic. We're going to do that without kinetic energy, so just get the potential energy. And then lastly, this print data. So let's just take a look at what's going on in all of these types of functions here. All right, so the first one is in this file IO module. That's the input output from everything that's going on there. So let's see, I'll open that one. Where is this one coming from? So we'll see, I think it's pretty much near the bottom. Let's get input. Um, there's a bunch of different file programs that use this type of input message. So checking for the proper input. Um, yeah, yeah, just reading that in there, printing out our message. If, yeah, if we don't have the correct number of arguments, uh, then we're going to be printing out this message based off the program that we have. Our program is called mm.py. So we print, we need uh, this for our message, and then we exit. Otherwise, we just say uh, the second thing that we read in from the command line, which is going to be something like, give it a file, geometry, PRM, HF. So it's going to read in this, because uh, the elements are, are numbered starting from 0 in Python, as in many languages. So 0, 1, I'm going to read in that element, and that is our input file name. All right, so we get then we're going to declare this mmlib.molecule.molecule. So let's go to this molecule module. What's in here? So this is a bunch of classes for handling uh, molecular data. So I have a bunch of different classes in here for dealing with atoms. So atomic data, things like uh, coordinates, element, charge, atom type, uh, non-bonded coordinates, mass, covalent radius, any kind of proper velocity, acceleration, any kind of property you could have for an individual atom, setting and declaring those. Data for bonds, you know, what are their atomic indices, bond length, equilibrium bond length, bond spring constant. The angles, what are their uh, atomic indices and parameters and variables there. Same thing for torsions. Same thing for out of plane angles. Just getting uh, more and more data in there. Then finally our molecule. And this is going to contain a whole bunch of stuff. So that is the file that it comes from, the directory of that file, whether it's an XYZQ or PRM file that I've declared there, um, the name of it from the file name, and then it's going to declare a bunch of arrays for atoms, bonds, angles, torsions, out of planes, uh, for all those objects so that it knows what its atoms are and what its bonded structure looks like. Uh, initializing those things to zero, setting things like dielectric constant, total mass, spring constant of our boundary, uh, volume, lots of stuff like that. All of our energy terms, declaring those. 
And then it's going to read in um, based off of our file type, XYZQ or PRM. In this case, I gave it a PRM file. So let's go ahead and take a look what's going on there. So if we have read in PRM, that's again from our file I.O. reading that in. So we'll go back over here. I believe this is closer to the top here. Nope, got lucky there. Okay, get PRM. Things like uh, parsing this into a uh, bunch of strings, figuring out what kind of record it is. Is it an atom? Is it a bond? Is it an angle, torsion, out of plane? And then uh, calling the right functions for those kinds of things. So for as an example, if we want to get a bond, then we look at things like uh, the two atomic indices are going to be the uh, the first the first string in the column. If I guess I should bring up a PRM file here as an example. Let's see, do I have an input? I do not have an input open. Let's take a look at that. Okay, we're going to go to geometry, parameter, and let's just go ahead and take a look at this one, um, which is going to be hf.prm. Remind ourselves that this looks like, so we have bond, one, two, uh, spring constant, equilibrium, bond length. So it's going to be reading in yeah, I'm going to be reading in from the values in the line what the atomic index is, what the parameters are, uh, and then setting, uh, getting me a bond object, appending that to the molecule, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So all that's in how it's reading it in. Um, then what's the next thing we're going to do? We are going to get the energy of this molecule. So this is going to involve things like this get energy function we got right here. So we get the bonds, angles, torsions, out of planes, non-bonded, boundary, kinetic, and then add up all the totals. So this is all in this module called energy. So as we have, uh, as we import that module at the beginning of this file here. So let's take a look at that. Energy. So here's just a bunch of functions that we're going to use to get the various terms. So these are just the formulas that I wrote up on each um, video for those kinds of things. So bond energy is spring constant times bond length minus equilibrium bond length squared. Return that. Angles, torsions, out of planes, van der Waals, electrostatic, uh, boundary, whether it's a cube or a sphere kinetic energy and unit conversions, all that good stuff. And then stuff that gets it for all the bonds. So repeat that over all the bonds and call that get E bond function, all that good stuff. And then eventually down at the end, I believe the totals is just adding up all of those terms into bonded, non-bonded, potential, and total. And then the last function going on here, this print data um, if I go back to my molecule module here, scrolling back down to molecules, get energy, get gradient, da, 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 lots of stuff, print data. And then these are all file IO module functions. Again, print energy, print geometry, print bonds. And that's what prints these various things that we see here. So we'll just take it one look as, as an example, this uh, print energy. I can find where that is in these 800 lines. Good luck with that. All right, let's see if we have print coordinates. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and look at print coordinates instead? All right, print atomic coordinates for a set of atoms. Da -da -da. That's, do we do that? I don't think we do that. I think that's a different type of thing. Let's file. Let's see, print geometry. I think this is it. Yep, molecular geometry and non bonded parameters. Yep, printing out that header there. Uh, printing out the top of that with all those different strings in this print header function. Prints me a nice little banner with all that stuff. And then each of those things printing out the uh, atomic index, the atom type right there. Uh, printing out the atomic coordinates and printing out charge uh, and the van der Waals parameters of radius and epsilon. So that's an example of what's going on there. Uh, 
deep inside of that stuff. So it's all being called at the top level by this mm.py driver script. And then it's the objects which we're acting on whose uh, functions are then calling uh, functions from other modules which are doing all of the work behind the scenes for us.